getting a design down for your project car, obviously it's very, very important, but not all of us are legitimate good designers. We might think we know what looks good, but sometimes you need some help. And right now I'm here with Carter Hickman, who's been providing design services for people's uh, cars and hot rods for a long time. Tell me how that's been going. Yeah. Sure. Uh, it, it's, a, it's an incredibly fantastic job, uh, <laughs> being able to help people find the vision and see what is in their head, get it on paper, make sure it's going to look good before we get out in the shop, start spending that hour, the money, and all of that. So, uh, yeah. Now, your medium of choice is and has been pretty much all digital stuff. Correct. Um, we, we take a little bit different approach to it than a traditional artist. Um, all of our stuff is actual 3D models that we create in the computer, try to get the dimensions down, uh, the wheel sizes correct and everything so that it looks like the car when it's done. Now, on an individual one-on-one -on -one basis, uh, this takes a lot of time. Uh, going back and forth making revisions, you know, takes some money and effort. But you're also the man behind the House of Color digital paint booth software that allows people to do this on their own? That is correct, that's correct. What we've done is we've taken the power of the renderings and we've put it in your hands at a much more affordable price than the full-on renderings, so. So, say somebody doesn't know too much about how to use a computer, they don't know too much about drawing or designing, can this be helpful to them? Absolutely, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to take away the professional level graphics controls and the years of, of a learning curve and put it into push button, gearhead terms, suspension, offset, you know, those type of things uh, so that everyone can have as much fun as I have. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what it does. Sure, absolutely, let's take a look here. Great. Uh, we've got a, uh, a little 56 Chevrolet here. Yep. Okay. Uh, it, and, and it looks like a picture, but in all reality, it is truly a 3D model that we can actually rotate around and look at it from different angles. Okay, and cool. as soon as we stop moving, it starts rendering. Now, with it being a 3D model, that gives us ultimate control over everything. I can control suspension heights and lower and raise the car, okay? Huh. Uh, we can do things like, uh, let's say we don't want the Bel Air trim, we want uh, 210 trim. Well, we just come to our op body panel options panel here and we just find that two tin trim and we turn it on one drops off and the other one comes on wow. so it's just things like that that allow us to to kind of fine-tune the car get it down to where we need we can do wheels uh, sizes offsets uh, tire profiles and house of color color so it's much more than just changing colors. It's, it's much more than just changing color. It's it's the complete package. Uh, if you said that I you know wanted no trim but I wanted the car in green, uh, it, it's it's literally two mouse clicks, and, and there it pulls you go. The trim. Wow, yeah. that's fantastic. Now we're standing here in the House of Color booth, and uh, behind me is this gigantic city of, of colored shapes. Bunch of color. And uh, I like how it looks like you've incorporated that same color selection chips into the... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we've done. We've taken the speed shapes uh, and created uh, the, the color picker. We strive uh, to give you a realistic color from true candy colors uh, to true pearls. Uh, really worked hard on trying to get the effect right. Now there's some, some trick technology going on there, not only with the model that spins and rotates, but you've got a true reflective background and, and you've got actual Absolute, lighting. Absolutely, we can change uh, environments uh, where they're located at, uh, and that actually changes, the, the environment is a, a 360 uh, uh, dome around it that actually changes how the car is lit and reflected, and it shows the difference. So we change it, this background, when we actually rotate around, you can actually see the, the sun, the the sun yeah, and yeah. reflections down the side. You know, and it's those little things that give it the, the realism that we're after. So it doesn't yeah. look like some... Uh, Cartoon. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Now, I've done my fair share of, of 3D modeling and, and software that's fairly archaic. And uh, what I think is impressive here is how quickly this thing reacts. Because, and I'm going to say the old days, like, you know, last year, uh, you'd, right, have a, right. you'd have a wireframe model, and then you'd pick your environment, and you'd pick where your sun is, and all that stuff, and, and then you'd hit click. 
go render, and then yes. you go out and go grocery shopping, and you come back and you have one image, and then you go, well, no, no, that's right. And yes. then you pick something else, and then Absolutely. you go leave for two hours. And this, where it takes a little getting used to because it starts low res. It starts low res, it, go, it drops resolution so that we can actually move rotate the car and move it around. And then, like I said, as soon as I stop, it, quickly, it starts. Yeah, it starts turning it starts. everything out. Yes. Uh, so, uh, I'm liking what we're doing here with this 56, but uh, what if I don't have one? What if I got something else? Uh, we, we have a database of cars uh, set up so that, um, like, a, like 68, 69 Camaros, uh, they, we have both front ends, you know, the RS and the SS front end, so you can switch them on and off. Uh, we have a, an ever-growing, ever-expanding uh, database of vehicles. Okay. We've been looking at solids and we've been looking at candy colors. What happens if I want to do a two-tone or I want to throw a graphic not a, on it? Not a problem. Let's, um, for this one, let's, uh, let's do that two-tone. Let's drop this two-trim trim back on. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the top and the back uh, white. Make sure, yeah. Okay. So over here on the paint side, this is or the graphic side, we have a little shape tool. And the way it works is everywhere I click at, it leaves a little control point, And then I turn it off. Now, this is a shape that I can move around. But more importantly, what it's trying to do is it's trying to draw a curve from point to point through that circle. So okay. if I click on that circle and move it, or I click on this point and move it, you oh, see nice. I get a nice free, yeah. smooth curve. And you can use that to follow your body lines yeah, or your trim. That's, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to follow it right here with that. So we'll turn it off. We'll turn it back on. I'll click once here, once here, here. We'll just go up over the top and come down, turn it off. Tweak it just a little Slide bit. that up in there. Change it to white. Now, when I hit update and build in 3D, yep. it saves it off, turns around, and puts it on the car. <laughs> nice. And you can see there's little tweak areas that we, we would want to fix. So yeah, but just, this took us 15 seconds. Right. You're exactly right. And that's that's the joy of it, is being able to quickly see these, these options, right? Wow. We're not spending six hours coming back redrawing it in right. green in blue and red so now, are we limited to the amount of different color shapes we can add to the car uh, no we can do multi multi-layer graphics we can do three four six sets of flames um, we've got crazy things in there uh, you know animal prints I mean we've got kind of a hodgepodge of graphics as well so if we want let's say that this is exactly what we're looking for but Everybody wants to see flames, so maybe we'll throw in a set of flames just to sure. see. So you just click on paint. Can we put flames on the roof? We can put flames on the roof. I don't know why you want to, but let's do that. Let's do that. Can all right. Throw, so, your, throw your curveball. Sure. That's what we're all about, man. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is what this is where the software really shines. So you just want to put them on the roof. You just slide them over here. Uh, I'm going to move that right there. And you just kind of scale it and get it where you want it. Okay. And uh, in this case, maybe we'll make them. Uh, Blue. I'm not going to yeah, say, yeah, I'm not going to say it's pretty, but when I hit build an update, look there are, there are flames on our roof. And that actually does not look that bad. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go that way, but the colors don't right, work. Right, right. You know, but, this this would be a bigger time waster than the internet. I mean, <laughs> you could do this that's a, You for bet, days. that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> that's what we're hoping for. Uh, do you have any ability to import a graphic? Say uh, we want to put um, our shop logo on it or something? Oh, absolutely. Or? We have, I mean, if you if you are familiar with uh, Photoshop or Illustrator or some of the other graphics programs, yeah. uh, you actually can take this wireframe here, import it into Photoshop, Tune Use Photoshop to do all your graphic layouts or what have you. Turn off the top layer, save it out, import it in, and it comes right in where you said it needed to be. Very so. cool. All right, so my last question for you is, um, it looks like you've got the, uh, the body styles down realistically, but what if somebody has a, a particular brand of wheel or something that's that's an actual wheel product? Sure, that's what we're working with the wheel companies. Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna be adding wheel companies just like we're adding cars. Uh, so that you'll be able to go in there with the wheels. We can change, uh, you know, let's jump back here. Let's update this. So with the wheels, we can change offsets. Let's lose sizes. my hideous purple flames. <laughs> <laughs> you took that hint. I did. Um, so let's just kind of zoom in on this wheel just to show you some of the controls. Uh, so you we got can, like a Halibrand looking deal there yep, or something now? Yep, we can turn it, uh, actually let's do this. I can, t I can do the sizes. So we'll sure. go from 15 up to, you know, we'll do like an 18 in the front. 
And you see how it's sticking through the body? But that'll go away. When that'll, it... Well, I actually have control of the track width, so I can actually oh, you bring, can suck them in. I can bring them in, and I can still do offsets. I can push it in. Oh, look at that. Nice dish. I can push it back out. Wow. We can control tire sidewall height. Sure, so sure. we can get, you know, big and littles, the whole bit. Yeah. Give it a little turn on the front. Oh, no kidding. You can pose it as well? Sure. Right? Now, if you get lost and you're upside down, you just click a couple of camera presets. And you're right back at the home position. And then the last thing is that tan interior probably wouldn't work for this one. The real designer in Carter is getting aggravated with so the So there we go. There's, there's the darker interior. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's that quick and that simple. Very cool. Is this available yet or? Uh, yeah, the, the single car version, the, 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 it, we sell this as a, as a package. Uh, we have a single car version, which is $80, okay? And that gets you one car from my database, all right? And then we have a, what we call a pro version, which is all the cars in the database for $450. Oh, that's not terrible. Because, of, you know, you could hire some guy to do a rendering for a 450 of one car and it's done and you can't change it or screw you it. You can't change it, yeah. yeah like yeah. I said, with this one, you've got a, you know, a you database to come back to. You can ruin it on your own to. as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. That's right. All right, so how does somebody get it? Uh, HOKDigitalPaintBooth.com. Very cool. Yep, yep, that's the website. Great work, man. Now I'm going to hey, have to man. get one. I appreciate and, it. And there I goes my, <laughs> my minimal productivity already. It's going to be I'm right out the window. i even more. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it.